Thanks, guys. Okay, so what you see on your screen, you may be thinking, well, that doesn't look like reducing fractions. We're working on dividing a number by itself first, and you'll understand why in a second. I promise there's a reason. And what I mean by dividing a number by itself is when you see something like this. Five divided by five. So that's a number being divided by itself, the same number. So can anybody tell me what happens whenever you divide any number by itself? What is the answer to this problem? Does anyone know? Come on, I see somebody's raising their hand. Who is that? Me. If you know, you just just unmute yourself. You don't have to raise your hand. Go ahead and um, tell me. What one. Yes. Anytime you take a number and you divide it by itself, it equals one. It doesn't matter what numbers it is. So let's try another one. Um, if I had seven and I divided seven by seven, it equals one. If I have 135 and I want to divide that by 135, guess what my answer is? It's going to be one. So anytime you take a number and you divide it by itself, it's going to always equal one. And that's really important for you to know before we start today's lesson. So um, can you just give me a thumbs up if you understand that and you're ready to move on? Just give me a little thumbs up just so I know that you're there and you understand what I'm talking about. Okay, I got a thumbs up from Sinai. Anybody else? So I can't see your screens, so you'll, yeah, you just have to give me the digital thumbs up. All right, Marguerite, Darius, Naquan. Okay, Deshaun, all right, perfect. Okay, cool. So now that we're done with that, we're gonna talk about reducing fractions, okay? So reducing fractions, is also called simplifying fractions. Let me take this paper out so it's reading through. Okay, there we go, perfect. So reducing fractions is also known as simplifying fractions, and this may sound familiar to you. You may have done this before. This may be a review, or this may be brand new information. Either way, this is what we're gonna be talking about today. So reducing fractions just means taking a larger fraction or taking a fraction and figuring out how you can put it in lowest terms. What can you divide both sides by to make it a smaller fraction? So in equivalent fractions, we're used to multiplying both sides, right? We're used to multiplying both sides by the same number to make an equivalent fraction. But for reducing fractions, we're gonna be dividing. I'm gonna change my color my marker. So we're going to be dividing by the same number. So for three six, it's always a good idea to start with your numerator. So my numerator in this case is three. So I'm going to try dividing both sides by three. Okay. And don't worry if you, um, if division is not like your best skill, like maybe you're not so great at doing division in your head, you will be allowed to use a calculator for this. So you don't need to worry about that. But like we just talked about any number when you divide it by itself. So three divided by three is one. And six divided by three is two. So now we've just turned three six into one half, we've reduced it. So reducing just means you're dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Okay, so that was one example. We're gonna do another example here. So that's three six. Three six simplified is one half. So now let's try um, two six. So two six. So we need to figure out a number that can go into both two and six. Can anybody off the top of their head think of a number that you could do two divided by blank and six divided by blank and it would work? So remember the hint that I gave you at the 
for the first example, you can always start by trying the numerator. So if we were to start by trying the numerator, we would be dividing both sides by two. Right, two is our numerator, so we're gonna try and divide the numerator and denominator by two. So two divided by two equals one, and six divided by two equals three. Okay, so let's try one more example together, and I'm actually gonna use a calculator to show you how exactly you can use a calculator to help you with this. So I'm going to plot my calculator right here. Should be able to see it. All right. So let's say we wanted to reduce um, six over eight. I have to figure out what number can I divide both six and eight by. Now, normally we would start by trying the numerator, but I know that if I do eight divided by six, I'm gonna get a crazy decimal number. So that's not gonna work. So now I just need to think, well, what number does go into six and eight? And today you're not gonna be worrying about figuring out what that number is. I've provided that for you on our independent practice, but a number that would go into both six and eight because these numbers are even, is two. We could divide both sides by two, right? So six divided by two equals three, and eight divided by two equals four, three-fourths. So six-eighths reduced equals three-fourths. So that's the way you can use a calculator to just help you with those division problems. All right, so now we are going to get into our um, independent practice. And it's really not going to be very difficult. I don't think, I think you guys are going to do great with it. I'm going to show you what it looks like before we start. Okay, so this is what today's independent practice looks like. You can unpin my screen from your Google Meet so that you can see what I'm sharing. I'll just wait a second for everybody to get that. So just unpin my notebook from your screen and then you'll see what our new, yeah, here we go. All right, so everybody's good to go now. All right, so here is our assignment for today. So what you see in the red box is an example. You are not doing anything on this box because this is just to show you an example of what we're doing here. So. You'll notice for each of these, I give you an original fraction, and then I already tell you what to divide the numerator and denominator by. Your only job is to fill in what's in the yellow box. Okay, so these red question marks. So for the first one, you're gonna do two divided by two equals what? And then eight divided by two equals what? And then you're just gonna go through each of these and come up with the reduced fraction for each original fraction. So in the example that you see here, three six, I said, okay, I'm going to divide both sides by three. So we're gonna divide three divided by three equals one, and six divided by three equals two. Very simple, okay? This is real easy, just division. We're dividing a numerator and a denominator by the same number. Now, does anybody have any questions before you go ahead and try this one on your own? If you feel like you're ready to give this a shot, you can grab a calculator, or if you don't have a calculator, um, you can always Google one, and you can go ahead and open up that assignment and go ahead and get started. 